All right, so today's video is a really quick tip to get you that bloom look that you see in Eevee in Cycles. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so if we hop into look dev, this is the Eevee view. Of course, we have this nice bloom, but here in Cycles, you don't get that viewport bloom. It's just flat and you just see those reflections. So how do you do it? First off, in Eevee, lights are very sensitive. So these are very, very bright it's here in my emission, but you can bring it down, see it like one point, you could still see glow. So just remember in cycles, they need to be pretty bright. So I put my strength at 30 for all these emissions and it needs to be an emission shader, or it can just be like say a light is shining on something that's very bright in the reflections. It doesn't just have to be emissions because this is cycles, it is photorealistic. All right, so all you have to do is hit render and render image. And once you render it, you have to hop over to the compositor. So right up here, you'll see compositing. So now you have this. So once you render it, you'll just see this. This is the rendered object you have. It's not object, rendered image. So you can't see anything. You have to shift A and type in viewer. Once you have this viewer node, hit the image and bring it to image. And now you have your background. So to get the bloom, you have to shift, shift A and type in glare right here and put it right between these two nodes. And you'll see, bam, this happens. It's pretty ugly. And that's because we're on the streaks. Here in cycles, you actually have multiple options in your streaks and things like that. So if you just want the regular glare, I mean the regular bloom, just type in fog glow, not type in, just click it. So now you have that bloom. But we have some other cool stuff here in the glare node that you can play around with. Also here on size, say you wanna make this glare not so wide, say I'll put five. Now you just get a little more subtle glare, or if you wanna go up to nine, it spreads it out even farther. So another thing you can do is play with say ghosts. And now you get all this weird stuff right here, depending on what you're playing with. There is streaks, which was the original one we have. You can see it has these shoot-ups and stick-ups. I don't know how to really how to describe it. But see here on streaks, you can bring it down to two. And then you can change the angle of, say I'm going to give it a 90 degree change. And now they're shooting upward. And it's a really, really cool effect, actually. Um, so you can just go in and play. We got Simple Star. They have all these stars that you can play with and bring up the iterations and it's really crazy. Uh, so yeah, that's how you get glare. And then actually once you go back to rendering, you have to actually click right here, it's just render result, but you have to go right up here where it says render result and go to viewer node and then you can save the image. So that's very important. Otherwise you won't be able to find what you just rendered. So that's how you get glare in Blender. I hope you learned something. Hope you like this and thanks for watching.